Taisha and welcome to Shawnee's Space. So today, I'll be making bread pudding. So I've wanted bread pudding for a really, really, really long time. Um, last time I had bread pudding was probably like early December and I really wanted one for my birthday but it didn't work out. And recently I've just been thinking about it and then a friend of mine made bread pudding and sent me a picture and it was just like tears. So that really inspired me to make my own. However, I'm making a very small batch and I don't, I didn't feel it turning on the oven. So, today I'm making bread pudding in my toaster oven. Um, I have four slices of sandwich bread. Also, excuse me nice that you're here in the background. That's actually the toaster oven um, preheating. So I'm actually just gonna cut, cut this bread. Cause I don't want it too chunky. Could have probably ripped this up instead of chopping it up, but whatever. So I'm trying to get it bright into kind of like cubes, but not really. Just so it's not too big, and when it when the mixture goes on top of it, it's evenly coated, and it doesn't end up looking like French toast. So now that the bread is finished cut up, it's time to get the mixture. So the ingredients that we're going to need today for this are, are yes, egg, butter, milk, sugar, essence. I'm going to add a bit of coconut oil for like a coconut flavour, but not much. Um, oh, and I want to put in some cinnamon flavour as well. So I already have my egg in this bowl right here. And this is just a, a small personal bread pudding. I'm not really going to do measurements. I'm just going to do what I feel like. <laughs> That's a little fair moment. And now some sugar. I'm just going to play like two small bowls. Essence. A little tiny bit of coconut oil and this coconut oil is actually well homemade but not by me but my grandmother so you know they get to granny now it's time for cinnamon powder that's a bit wrong a teensy bit of butter just so it has that butter flavor to it basically mixed up and now it's time to add the bread. So there are two options. Ooh, two options. Either you can add the bread to this mixture or add this mixture to the bread. And since this mixture is already in a container, I'm just gonna add the bread to this mixture. Hopefully I didn't do too much bread. Want to make sure that everything is being evenly coated. So I probably could have done with about three and a half or three slices of bread because I didn't use all. I 
have my container which I've already greased with butter. Yes, I like butter. Just don't come for me. And now I'm just going to put that inside of this. And now we wait for it to bake. Put it inside the toaster oven and wait for it to bake. Should probably take about 25 minutes or so. So the bread pudding is complete. Oh my gosh, it tastes nice. It is so nice. It has a beautiful cinnamon flavor. Next time I'll probably try it with like some chocolate chips, like coconut or something, or even make a sauce for it. So it's a, it's a little better than I would like. I'm trying to show you guys. It is a little wet. I probably would have liked it to be somewhere. But your top was starting to get a little burnt. I probably should have covered it. So that's why I have to take it out. But it actually tastes pretty nice. So, mm, it's pretty good. I don't know it might not be traditional bread pudding that some people are accustomed to. Because some people usually eat bread pudding that's chunky. I don't know. I don't, I don't eat that. My breakfast is usually breakfast that I usually is usually smooth, so that's what I like. But it, it's really nice. It has a really good flavor. I should definitely try it. You know, try that bread that is no no longer like fresh, but not like still to the point that you can't eat it. You know, like mold and not that bread. The bread that is like mm. you know a couple of days have passed and. It, it's not like in bad condition, but it's not like condition that you want to eat it. So take that bread, make this amazing. Just a little dessert that you can make one on one for yourself, and you know if you don't want to like, turn on the oven, you can just do it in the toaster oven, save some gas. That's electricity, but save gas. So definitely recommend. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.